Curitiba, Brazil. I'm excited about the upcoming issue of Aesthetic Surgery Journal to be published in January 2017. In this issue, my colleagues Luis Aurethal, Carlos Lido, and myself are publishing an article on surgical rejuvenation. We review our experience of 504 cases in deep play neck lift and present new perspective for it. We thank Dr. Mahai and the editorial board for this opportunity. Most surgeons accept the idea that supplatinal structures, including fat, digastric muscle, and submandibular salivary gland, may contribute to the appearance of large neck. However, some colleagues believe that the risk of supplatinal treatment outweighs these benefits. What about the risk of hematomas, nerve injury, and so on? Well, here you will find surgical anatomy concepts in the videos of fresh cadavers dissections. We go step by step through the surgical approach of deep neck with edited videos and professional figures. We explore consistent surgical tactics to prevent hematoma, such as the obliteration of the submandibular salivary gland at its partial resection. The hemostatic neck is also revisited. This is a tactic in which all dissected spaces are closed, eliminating the occurrence of hematoma in the first 48 hours. After close to 900 cases, cases performed, it has transformed our surgeries in much safer procedures. What will come next? We are developing a technique to reposition the submandibular salivary gland and create to the posterior digastric tendon. This is an alternative for small and mid-sized glands that you don't want to reset. Although subplatinal neck lift requires a long learning cure, the results obtained from this strategy described here confirm that it can be performed in a safe and predictable way. I hope you enjoy.